Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time, we are talking about setting up cloud error distribution of Hadoop on AWS on a seven-node uh, uh, as a seven-node cluster with the seven EC2 instances running CentOS. And so far, we have provisioned the instances, and also we have set up uh, parallel SSH on uh, one of the nodes in AWS. And now we will see how to set up HTTP server. So by default, when we actually provision the EC2 instances, um, HTTP will not be running on that. And now we will see how to set it up. So HTTP will not be there. We have to install by using m command again. And uh, uh, the uh, I think the software is uh, under the name of HTTPD. So we have to run m hyphen y so that it does not prompt install HTTPD and then it will install all the uh, download all the software related to http it will install on the cluster uh, uh, sorry on this uh, host and then we have to configure the default configurations will be under cd etc httpd cons and then there is a file called httpd.cons we have to open that one and we have to modify this file uh, to make the changes uh, to run uh, HTTP server as per our requirement. So uh, the better way to start is to search for port 80. Okay, and then replace where, um, the server name, uh, whatever changes I am making, uh, make sure you replace them. In this case, we have to use the host name of this uh, uh, server which is uh, ip hyphen let me get it from here that is better so this is the one which i want to use so i am using va editor uh, for you if you are not comfortable for uh, with va go with nano editor it is um, uh, it is more user friendly than VI for non Unix uh, users. And then we are going with the uh, next uh, 80. Again, I, I, I am uncommenting that first and then paste the IP address. And then uncomment all these lines. So we are at the end of the, uh, uh, end of the configuration file. And we have to uncomment all these lines. By removing the first character which is hash. And then replace this star with the IP address. And then go to, uh, means if you are using VA editor, once you modify the star with IP address, hit the escape, go to the escape mode. And search for dummy host dot example dot com and replace it with the uh, IP address which we are going to use for our uh, HTTP server and hit enter and then on top of that the document root I want to be under where uh, where is the directory under slash so if you if you are familiar with Linux file system slash is the root directory and then I want to create where www docs and whatever IP address is given here, I want to use it as document root. So come out of this and then run this command mkdir minus p paste and hit enter. Now we have created the directory. Unless you create the directory, we will not be able to start the HTTP server. Once you have done that, first let us see whether httpd is running or not httpd status so service is a linux command to check whether a service is running or not so now we have to start it and it has started if it is running then it will be listening on port 80 for that we can use telnet command to test and hit enter but telnet is not installed on this so we need to install telnet Again by running m minus y install telnet. 
typically all these things will be available for you when you are trying to set up in your enterprise uh, in enterprise system administrators will actually set up the os and provide you all these tools if you if if a particular tool such as telnet is required by you and if it is not there you can write the ticket with uh, system admins and they will do it for you but here we are doing everything then run the telnet and it is running so um, http server is successfully started to make sure that HTTP server starts every time the system is rebooted, there is a command called check config and then we have to give the service name which is HTTPD and then on and then the HTTPD service uh, will be enabled on uh, enabled for on boot uh, uh, restarts. Okay, so now we have to validate by, uh, by accessing that. For that, for this private IP, there is a public IP and public DNS. Probably we might be able to test it like this. So I think uh, as we have hard coded to run on a private IP, it is not showing up here. And directly you will not be able to run uh, or test it uh, by using private IPs. For that you have to use uh, tunneling and foxy proxy which have covered uh, as part of the earlier videos um, in this playlist. So you can see it here as such tunneling and foxy proxy you have to use that. For that what you have to do is first you need to instead of running uh, hyphen a you have to run it with capital N capital D 8157. So that is the port number and hit enter and then it will hang. When it is hung, if you have already enabled Foxy Proxy for your uh, Firefox browser, go to Tools, go to Foxy Proxy Standard and use EMR Sox Proxy and you will see uh, a blue, uh, um, uh, blue icon rotating here. When it is happening, now you can use this private IP. dot ec2 dot internal and run it and then it will start the, it will show the this screen if your http server is up and running on that particular host so here after doing ssh tunneling using private ip i am able to access uh, the http server running on that host hence it is successfully configured okay so in, in the latter part of the video so we will see how we can use this http server to set up uh, local repositories for uh, Cloudera distribution of Hadoop. That being said, I hope you are enjoying the content on the channel. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to provide the feedback, please use the comment section of the video. If you want to discuss further about uh, big data certifications, please join my LinkedIn groups called ITVersity-Big Data or ITVersity-Certifications. And finally, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. And uh, also, uh, if you are in US or UK or uh, any other country where YouTube fan funding is supported, uh, if you want, you can support my channel by uh, looking at this section around here, which says support the channel and uh, fund me as much as you want, between $1 to $500. And uh, I will promise that I will come up with more and more content like this over time. Thank you. Bye.